Okay, so next you're going to need a cloud hosting program. So I just went ahead and used Google. Uh, its interface is really easy to use. Uh, you'll have to sign up with your Google account. Uh, if you don't have one of those, just make a Google account. I think you got like the first $400 free or something for a month. Uh, so you shouldn't have to pay right away when you sign up. It is fairly cheap afterwards though, uh, as long as you stop your server when you're not using it. Uh, as far as like development goes, you can maybe three or four dollars a month. Uh, you just pay for the the hard drive, you have to pay that for the month, which is like two dollars. Uh, then the rest, yeah, it is, it's like a couple pennies every hour. Uh, just make sure you're shutting it off when you're not using it. Once your game's in production, obviously you'll have to keep that running up all the time, and that could be like fifty, sixty dollars, depending on uh, how bi how good your server is. Obviously, that could go up to thousands of dollars too if you get a super big computer. Uh, so we're just going to start here and create. So the one you want is Compute Engine. Um, yeah, it might you might have to go over here or whatever. Uh, you might have to enable billing as well. It's been a while since I set that up. But once your account's all set up and you have billing on file, uh, again, you should be able to use that free credit right at the beginning. Uh, but I think it does want a credit card. Uh, so you go to Compute Engine and VM Instances. So that's just a virtual machine. Uh, go ahead and click Create. So what this is is basically just a uh, virtual computer. Uh, it's kind of like owning a, a private server in a uh, in a big server room or something, I guess you could say. Uh, so I'm just going to name this Candyland. I like to keep the name the same as as much as I can uh, through all the projects and servers. Uh, just choose whatever zone is nearest to you. Uh, I just go with U.S. East. Uh, so for the machine type, you can choose. Uh, you can get one of these like shared ones that are really uh, lower performance, but they're cheaper. Honestly, for development, I'd just go one v CPU or even higher. Uh, as long as you're shutting it off after use, it's just charging by the hour. So it's going to be, this is what, uh, 0 0.0, so 3 cents an hour. Uh, so if, let's say you're developing for four or five hours, you're just, you're spending a couple cents. Uh, so we're going to choose that one. And yeah, that's that's usually good enough, but you can bump it up a little more if you want. Um, container, uh, we don't need that. I think that's just for extra storage. Uh, so for the boot disk, this is the operating system. So you're gonna want Windows Server, not Linux. Um, I use Windows Server 2012. Uh, 2016 probably works just as good, but I go with this one and I go with the data center. So you get the desktop experience. For the standard persistent disk, uh, so that's just your hard drive. I go with 50 gigs. Uh, it's usually good enough to download Unity and you have some room left over. You can also get the solid state, but that bumps up the price a lot. You don't really need it. So I'll go ahead and choose that. Uh, obviously, it's Unity. You need Windows. Linux won't work. Or you can wire it up, but it, it takes a lot of effort. Uh, okay, API access. Uh, I think just leave all that the same. Uh, for the firewall, you don't need to tick either of those. That's more if you have a web server. Uh, so you'll be billed for this instance. Uh, as long as you're okay with that, just click Create. takes a second to spool up here. Okay, so that is your server. Uh, that's your IP address. And yeah, so you can click in here and you can see all that information. Uh, the good thing about cloud servers too is you can always just bump up how much uh, CPU you have and stuff like that uh, if you want more. So we'll go ahead into these settings in a second. 